Do you ever feel like you find yourself in a rut with meal planning? It's just really hard to come up with new meals. It's really hard to even find a system that is simple but works really, really well as far as planning goes. I totally feel you. I have been there a thousand and one times, but I have actually found a few systems that are absolutely amazing. Hey guys, I am Candice and my channel is centered around minimalism, especially for families. I've got three little kids, so I am really looking for ways that I can minimize and simplify my life so that I can spend more time doing the things I really, really value. So if that sounds amazing, go ahead and give this a thumbs up and click subscribe. I would love to have you. All right, let's go ahead and start with the very first strategy that I love. I'm using this particular strategy at the moment for meal planning and it works awesome so let me go ahead and show you what that one's all about the first strategy is actually the monthly meal plan and i just use my monthly planner for this in the front of a lot of planners you actually have a monthly layout and that is where i like to write my monthly plans for meals these are just for dinners so what i do is i go through an entire month and come up with dinner ideas. And then I repeat a lot of these, especially our favorites. So the kids love homemade mac and cheese, so I make sure to include that a couple of times. We love breakfast for dinner and we love to grill, especially since it's getting warmer and super nice outside. Another tip for when you are planning out your meals, either for the week or the month, is to really keep in mind your busiest nights. When I first started meal planning, I totally forgot to consider this and I would put a little bit more of an elaborate dinner on a night that I was actually quite busy. So that didn't work. And I started realizing, okay, put your bigger, more main, a little bit more labor intensive, time intensive meals on the days that you don't have a lot going on and have nights for pizza and maybe even takeout or ravioli with spaghetti sauce, stuff like that on nights that you know you are super busy. Starting dinner, this is just something I like to make when I don't have a ton of time. We were really busy today. So I'm just making some meatballs. I combine barbecue sauce and apricot preserve, like equal parts, and these are super, super yummy on meatballs. And we're just gonna have it with rice. It's a really simple, easy dinner, and it's super tasty. So we'll get a veggie too, but that's what we're doing right now. But also you can make a more elaborate meal the day before you know that you're gonna be busy and just do leftovers the next day. But like on Sundays, I like to make things that I wouldn't normally make so I have a little extra time, I'm not working. So I've got chicken pot pie here, a Mexican casserole, sour cream enchiladas, and then if it's in a recipe book, I will write the like abbreviation for the recipe book. So I have the Joanna Gaines cookbook, so I just wrote in J, GC for that one. And then if it's a recipe on Pinterest, I just write a little P and um, circle that so I know that that's a Pinterest recipe. So I just sit down all at once and write this out. This is really, really awesome because you can see how often you're repeating things. You can skip every other week if you know like mac and cheese. We're gonna not wanna eat that like two weeks in a row, so I'll give a week in between. And then what you do is at the beginning of each week, you take your recipes and you go ahead and just write a grocery list. You can also take inventory before you make a list. So if I know that we're gonna do loaded quesadillas and we already have cheese, that's perfect. So when you start planning your very, very first week, you might want to kind of think of the inventory you already have just to get you started. Then you'll probably run out of food down in here and you won't have as much to use up from your actual pantry. So that is strategy number one and the one that I have been using lately. For strategy number two, this one's actually called the weekly repeater. I love this one. All you need are note cards, just little index cards. I have these colored ones, so these work great, or white if you want, but I like the colored ones because you can actually tell which weeks you've already used. So what you're gonna do is on the front of the card, you're gonna write down seven meals that you would love to make that week. Then on the back of the card, you're just going to write all the ingredients that you need 
for those recipes. I think it's a really good idea to actually laminate these because you are going to reuse them. So go ahead and do like four of these maybe at once or eight if you have extra time, but try and come up with different meal ideas and write these down. Put them on the front of your card, have a few cards, and then rotate through them. This one I love and think is really, really great because if you actually realize I need to get to the store, oh my goodness, this has happened to me so many times where you actually are kind of in a bit of a rush. Maybe you forgot to get the grocery shopping done or something came up, you couldn't do it, and you need to get going like right now. All you do is you just grab one of those cards, you have an entire week's worth of meals. So here's an example of what a card might look like. So Monday, chicken salad, French bread, Tuesday, chicken pot pie, Wednesday, homemade pizza. Thursday, maybe takeout, Friday, breakfast, waffles and bacon, Saturday, soup and salad, and Sunday, a roast. Then on the back, you would just start making a list of all the things that you were gonna need. Um, I put some staples on here like eggs and milk that I need every single week, and then you can start putting your individual items that you need, like this apple sausage, I think would be super good in a soup. So I would go ahead and just write this on the back of the card. Before you go though, take a super quick inventory just so that you don't buy things you already have, but this is awesome. Here's where the colored cards come in really handy. So if you know, I used a pink card last week, then I'll grab a green card this week. But I truly don't think you need that many, especially if you love eating a lot of the same things. You know your kids love these meals and you actually don't need a ton of new ideas. Maybe just stick with four and just rotate them over and over again and laminating. Like I said, you can put them on a little ring so that you can just grab one and go. I even think this could be handy to stick in your purse. So again, the laminating would be awesome. Quick interruption, if you guys are getting value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, you can actually keep watching and write a comment at the same time, which is really cool. So leave me a comment letting me know what some of your family's absolute favorite of all time dinners are, and then we can all learn from each other. I love getting involved with you guys in the comments and seeing you interact together. It's so much fun, and I love sharing ideas that way. All right, the third strategy is probably the easiest, simplest, most straightforward one and literally takes no brain power. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna theme each night of the week. And I know you've probably already heard of this, but I think it's super awesome. So a few ideas for the themed dinner nights would be maybe Meatless Monday, Taco Tuesday, Wild Card Wednesday. This would be a really cool one to let your kids take turns choosing what's for dinner. So of course this is one that you would also plan at the beginning of the week. So you would know in advance what your grocery list is gonna be, maybe whose turn it was to pick the meal on Wednesday. Maybe Thursday's your crock pot day, pizza night on Friday, then Saturday, maybe sandwich Saturday, and soup and salad Sunday, something like that. After I am all done planning my week's worth of meals, I go ahead and just write them on the refrigerator. This is super handy. I just grabbed this at on Amazon. It's a magnet, it's awesome. <laughs> my kids really like to know what is for dinner too. For some reason, they absolutely love to come over here and get excited about what we're eating. It's also great for me because I don't have to refer back to anything. I just see it right here. It's in the kitchen where I need to cook anyway. So I really love this. It has been super, super awesome. And every now and then I do switch these around. Maybe I'll erase one or put a different abbreviation for a day of the week where I switch. So be flexible, be open, of course, because life throws crazy things at us all the time. But I definitely um, have gotten good use out of this. But of course you could make your own. But I just really like this one from Amazon. All right, guys, I'm super excited that I was able to share these strategies with you. I hope they were helpful. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.